Hello, everyone. Many of you know I'm Father Norm Douglas, a pastor at St. Vincent de Paul Parish. And you also probably know, if any of you have been watching these videos, that this is part of a video series that is introducing our pastoral business plan to the parish community and to any others who maybe want to know more about it. Our focus is taking a parish that we are here, seeing what's good and how we can even become better. We've mentioned before, and I'll remind you, that there's three main focus that, uh, in, the, in all of this. It's uh, one is faith development or faith formation, which we're talking about today. Two is evangelization, reaching out to others and sharing the good news of God's love. Three is community outreach, uh, how we're going to reach out and make a positive difference in, in, in our community as good neighbors. So uh, this is the third of the series, and the focus today is faith formation. And the person who I'm going to interview a little bit about this, uh, who's been the, uh, the moderator of this commission for the last couple of years, is Pierre Ferrer. Am I saying that again? Do I say it right? That's correct. Okay, because he, he comes from Haiti. It has a French background and, and uh, want to get people's names right. Anyway, glad to have you here, Pierre. Well, I'm glad to be here with you, Father. Hey, wanted to ask you, you know, because I think this is important. Why did you even get actively involved in the parish in the first place? Because many people, not putting them down, you know, they come to church, they, they go home, it means something, but they don't get actively involved. What got you so? Sure. Well, I grew up in the parish. Um, I went to school here. And when my wife and I were ready to have our family, we started our family, we wanted to get involved in the parish, get involved in the community. And to help our kids understand, you know, that involvement in a parish community is a blessing within your Catholic faith. It really is. Along that journey, the people that you get to meet, the fellowship, the communion that you get to build with people. So we wanted to set an example for them. Well, that's great. That's important. I know a lot is being talked about how we take a living faith and how it starts in the family and how we're called to pass it on. Let me ask this then. Why? Did you get involved in the whole Faith Formation Commission? Uh, folks, you may know we have a variety of different commissions, but this is one that focuses on that area. So why did you get involved? Well, I grew up a cradle, cradle Catholic, and um, you know, I, I was probably lukewarm in my faith for most of my life. But I had a lot of friends in this area that I'd met over the years that were in, at other parishes, and they would invite me to... Um, different programs that their parishes were having, Bible studies, prayer groups, um, retreats, special mass services. And, you know, as I got older, I would attend those. And that helped me to strengthen my relationship with God, with Jesus Christ. And I really enjoyed that. And I wanted to have those things available at our parish, but they weren't readily available. So I realized, you know, if I want to have those available at my home parish, then maybe I need to get involved and try to make some of that happen. So, And for you, that whole faith formation that you see it uh, and in yourself, uh, what have you, since you've been part of this commission a couple of years, what projects or activities or ideas have you put forth to try to foster a greater emphasis on faith formation in the parish life? Sure. Um, one of the things that our group has done um, we have a contemplative prayer group that meets bi-weekly on Saturdays, and uh, we've had people attend that. Great prayer group, uh, great prayer service. Uh, we've also been involved in helping to, um, I guess, reintroduce Eucharistic adoration to the parish because there was a while there when it wasn't offered. Um, and I think that's a great opportunity for people to grow deeper in their faith with the Lord, spending time in prayer with them. Um, and also... Um, one of the things that we've also done that I think is going really well is Divine Mercy Sunday. We've offered that. Uh, we've had that. We had it in 2019. Unfortunately, we couldn't last year because of the pandemic, but it was offered again just um, a couple weeks ago. And again, another opportunity just to understand um, our relationship with God and how merciful he is and to grow deeper into that relationship. Yeah, I wanted to mention something else that maybe even predated your commission, but the uh, the beginning of a couple of years ago that also was interrupted by COVID of, of a program called Christ Life. I think you were part of that, right? We were. Um, our commission was involved. We, uh, we attended. Um, we helped with um, the table leadership uh, as far as uh, 
questions and moderating the dialogue. So that was that was a very, very fruitful series of events that were held at the parish. Yeah, and mentioning, and I know you know this, Pierre, but Christ Life, we were looking in a lot of areas. I remember talking to you. What would be something good that really would be a formation over time to come to a deeper faith, richness in our Catholic Christian faith, and at the core of that, richness in following the way of Jesus Christ? Uh, uh, for those who may not know, and it's going to start up again, I'll just briefly mention three main areas, and each, each has a, a seven-part series. Uh, one is discovering Christ, another is uh, following Christ, and another is sharing Christ. And, and I've certainly seen you, Pierre, do that at, from the beginning, because I've been here, it's hard to believe, a little over five years now, but you were one of the first people that I met, and I know one of the first ones that was really enthusiastic, and we need to do more and more to help foster faith, and that's been happening. Um, any Anything else about that? Just now, as you look back over these last years, maybe a brief moment, how have you personally been touched or grown in faith from all this? Um, just, you know, understanding that, um, you know, our, our relationship with Christ isn't just something that um, we keep for ourselves or to ourselves, right? We, we grow in that relationship, but like anything good that we have in life that we would like others to experience, you know, what better thing for others to experience than to grow in their relationship with Christ. And if we can, if we can be um, a beck or, or a conduit to help people get closer to Jesus, then I think that's a great thing. And I think Christ's life is a good means to help people understand, you know, how to take those steps to do that. Yeah. And to have that formation, another thing I know that you've uh, you've done is the emphasis on that formation community, like even Christ's life that relies on small groups that uh, so often we grow in faith. When I've asked people about Christ's life, they would mention, wow, yeah, it gave me a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. And it opened me up to getting to know some other parishioners, connecting, sharing. That community experience was also so rich. Has, has that been true for you? Yes. I mean, that's, again, that goes back to, I think, the one thing that we said, the example we want to set for our kids, right? Just um, the fellowship and the communion and that we have with fellow parishioners. I mean, that's important. Very important. Yeah. And uh, just offhand, there may be some people who want to get involved. We know we'll be talking about other commissions too, but uh, just briefly, if somebody watches this and says, it's interesting, I think I'd like to either engage in one of the programs or get involved in the core group. How do you tell them to do that? Well, um, you know, a couple of things. Uh, one thing that we'd welcome is if anybody has any ideas or suggestions of things that they would like to see our group offer to the parish, we'd welcome that. Um, secondly, you know, they can reach out to us via flock notes or they can reach out to the parish office or the website um, to join our group, to participate, to attend some of the events that we sponsor. So that'd be wonderful to have other parishioners involved. Yeah, and we'll, we'll be doing more of that, as, as you know, and as we probably all know, this year with the COVID, that limited us somewhat. But even like this, we found we can do videos, we can do other things, but getting back to those small group experiences. So I'd encourage any of you watching this, too, to think about it. Uh, one, it may be that you've never done anything around faith formation, and they're meant to be real positive, uplifting experiences of, of growth in faith. And, and two, yeah, maybe you have a suggestion. You want to be involved. Uh, I know you can go to our website. You can see the various commissions there. Uh, you can uh, uh, also uh, go to our Facebook. If, if we have a lot on, on Facebook under St. Vincent of Paul. Other ways to know what's going on and how to go on. Uh, Pierre also mentioned Flocknote. Uh, that's a whole new communication uh, platform that can help us back and forth with people. And if you want to know how to get on Flocknote and get those personal messages on a regular basis, including these videos, again, go to our website and it tells you how to do that. Any closing comments you want to make there, Pierre? Uh, well, first, thank you for the time. Um, it's just been great um, having this conversation. And I know it's near and dear to your heart and it is to us and our commission. You know, we just want we want our parishioners at St. Vincent de Paul just to, to be excited about their faith and to want to grow in that faith. And hopefully that would lead them to share that with others. So yeah. thank you. Well, hey, you're welcome. And I'll add a PS to that. The reminder that for, for any of us who are already into our faith, 
the, or maybe somebody's re- listening to this that hasn't grown in faith. We also have another process of how we initiate those who want to, to come into the Catholic Christian community over a period of time. A lot of formation in faith, a lot of community building. It's called a right of Christian initiation of adults, but don't worry about that lengthy title. But again, if you're interested, you can go to our Facebook or go to our website and uh, get more information there too. Thanks again, Pierre. So great that you've been part of this and that you were one of the first people I met five years ago and showed that you were really vital in wanting this to happen. And it is.